Hey everyone, what's going on? So we had the Darkrai Escalation, and I actually wasn't planning on going all the way on this one. But uh, the next couple of weeks in terms of Pokemon Shuffle are really not that expensive. Unless if you count the, the Guardians for next week, those could be expensive if you need them. But in terms of what I have to do, at least, not too expensive. So I won't be able to get back up to Max Coins by next week, but... Throughout the, the rest of the week or the next two weeks, I should be able to, hopefully. And another thing to keep in mind is in three weeks is actually going to be the third year anniversary for Pokemon Shuffle. So I'm expecting some new stuff, some new main stages probably, some new skill swap and raise max level Pokemon. And from what I understand, every event that's currently going on within the next two weeks will end by the third week. So everything should be new in that week, but hopefully... It will be. It's very exciting. Hopefully they have some big content in store for us. So I will try to get up to max coins by the third week at least. But anyway, moving on, we do have the Dark Ride Escalation. And I'm doing all the boss stages on stage 50. Now this one I thought was easy. But I guess if you don't have like like the Hitmonlee or even the Curly of a shot out or Buzz War, it could be a little bit tough I guess. But... But I think there should be enough moves if you have some of these heavy hitters. Shiny Deoxy was recently available, so hopefully you do have that if you picked it up from its own escalation. I did use that, I think, basically in every single boss stage or throughout the entire escalation. So hopefully you do have that one. And for clearing stage 50, we do get a mega speed up. And so yeah, that's not bad. I'll definitely take that. Moving on, by the way guys, there's uh, no skips in this escalation, I guess because it only goes up to 100 stages, so yeah, no skips unfortunately, but yeah, so now we are on stage 75, and the fifth support is Purloin, so a shout out user like Hitmanlee or even Curlia if you have that available, which I don't, unfortunately, not yet. That will be good for this stage. Another stage I didn't find difficult. The Shiny Deoxy, of course, is going to be excellent because of all these blocks as a Mega. Totally recommend that as a Mega. I do have Cervelli for Typeless Combo. You're not really going to combo a lot, so not the best choice. You could bring another super effective Pokemon like Meloetta or Machamp or something. Or even something else. Even Beware, which is good. Uh, just because you're really not going to combo a whole lot on this stage, I don't think. So, yeah, definitely not the best option for a Typeless Combo, but... Yeah, still not a difficult stage. I didn't really have a whole lot of trouble on this one. A little bit on this part, I guess. Not really having matches of Hitmonlee or Buzzwall, but... Yeah, I have plenty... There's plenty of moves left, so... Not really gonna worry about it. It does disrupt with a couple Dark Rai. But you don't need them for shoutouts because you have the Purloin, but... Yeah, so, as I said, though, not too bad, not too bad. You can also get personalized skill boosters to max out Sleep Charm. Now, I haven't used Sleep Charm in a while, but Sleep Charm actually is good, especially if you're earlier on. So, you should go as far as you can with Sleep Charm. I have used it a lot earlier in the game, in the main stages, Shaman. So, I would definitely recommend farming Darkrai as much as you can. It does have a really good drop rate as well, so definitely catch it and then farm it as, as you advance in the these uh, stages. So yeah, we do beat stage 75 and I got two personalized skill boosters for this one. I just made it in match, uh, maxing it out, but even if you don't max it out by stage 100, you can continue on afterwards and you could max it out. Yeah, so we do get a mega speed up for that. And going on to the next sport stage, which is 96. Now, 96, 97, 98, you know, those are really annoying. I did do them itemless, but I could definitely totally understand you needing more items even with this team because of all these clouds. Where's the cloud, cloud shot user when you need it? I'm just kidding. I mean, cloud shot's still not good. But, well, it would have been good on this stage technically if we had a super effective strong one. It's just not worth investing in one. But yeah, all these clouds are so annoying. They get in the way. You, you're going to have to tap the clouds just to see what's going on. To see where you can make matches. He, he, you know, puts them on every other turn. So, yeah, it gets really annoying. But, you know, I felt like it was still manageable with uh, the team that I was going with. You could definitely go with a last-ditch effort Conkledur. That would actually be a really good option as well if you don't have, like... 
I guess the Buzz War, or actually, I guess instead of Silvelli, that would probably be a better choice because you're not really going to combo a whole lot, as I said, in prior stages. So, Typhus combo, not the best decision on my end. I would definitely, if I were to do this stage again and the next stage again, I would definitely go in with that Conco Day. I did use Conco Day in one of the later stages later on, but yeah, I would totally recommend Conco Day for these stages as well over Silvelli or over any Typhus combo Pokemon that you might have. But yeah, so, so annoying, uh, all these clouds. Yeah, as I said, tapping the clouds just to see what's going on. I mean, Typeless Combo did help, I guess, a little bit if you get a Typeless Combo match into the Shiny Deonsi. You'll do a lot of damage when you remove the blocks, and that's good. But again, I, I just feel like the Conco, the last ditch effort, if you have it maxed out, would be better. Just because you're not going to combo a whole lot with the Silvalli, so. Yeah, so we do beat that with three moves left. Yeah, about around just over 20,000 HP, I think. Yeah, so not too bad, not too bad, but... Yeah, it could be annoying with all those clouds. So we do beat stage 96, and for this one we get... Let's see what we get. We get two level ups. Okay, I'll take the two level ups. I will definitely take two level ups. And moving on, we are on stage 97, and I am going with the same team. Again, Kakoda, probably better than the Silvalli. This is basically going to be 96 on repeat. It's a little bit tough, I think a couple thousand more HP, but n nothing too bad. But again, just the clouds, super annoying, as I said. But luckily we start off with the full match. You could actually use the Shiny Deonsi as a support, I guess, if you can want to continue to get the block shot damage. Because once it Mega Evolves, yes, you can clear all of the blocks, but you won't be getting the block shot damage. So you could decide for yourself if you think that's worth it. Personally, I don't know. I mean, maybe you can go with Mega Steelix as the Mega and Shiny Deonsi as a support. That might be an awesome option, and then you don't need the Conco there. You could have like Hitmonlee and Buzzwool with it. Or something like that. I mean, that might be a good option for you if you want to go that route. But yeah, the most important thing on these stages is just if you have the full match of Hitmonlee or Shiny Deonsi or Buzzwool, definitely want to take advantage of that. And yeah, just activate those abilities. You want the burst damage. Uh, that's basically the most important thing in my opinion. Now in this move right now, I did get the typeless combo into Shiny Deonsi. So as I said, it does do a lot of damage. But I kind of feel like that's a little bit situational. I still feel like the Conco there would be a little bit better than than the typeless combo user. I mean, you might not need Conco there. You might not make it to the last few moves, but you might as well. So, yes, as you see, not, not comboing the typeless combo, but that's all right. So yeah, not too bad of a stage, I guess, if you have some of these Pokemon. Not too bad, but... You know, I, I felt like this Escalation was uh, kind of easy compared to some of the other ones. Even some of these later uh, boss stages. At least in my opinion, I understand if you don't have some of them, some of these Pokemon. It might be tough, yeah. As you can see, I'm tapping the clouds just because it's so annoying to see. As I said, where's that Cloud Shot use? I know we only have one. Cloud Shot uses the Kalos Cat Pikachu. Uh, even if we had a super effective one, I wouldn't invest in it. I'm just joking around, but yeah, it would have technically helped out during this stage. So yeah, so anyway, we beat it with one move left. Just tapping around just to see what's going on. And there we go. So Hitmonlee's going to finish it off with one move left. I think that had about 26,000 HP around there somewhere. So yeah, we do go ahead and beat that. And for this one, I think, what do we get? Raise max levels? I think we get, ra no. Yeah, two raise max levels. Okay, so we we get two raise max levels, so that's not bad. I will definitely take raise max levels because as I said, I predict new raise max levels skill swap a Pokemon in the future, in a few weeks. So I'll definitely take all the raise max levels that I can get. And moving on, we do have stage 98. I did this one itemless as well. This one, I believe, has about, I want to say around 28,000 HP. And yeah, it's basically the same thing. We have all these clouds. I mean, nothing to say. What am I going to say? I mean, it's the same stage, just a couple thousand more HP. So, Disrupted Dark Rye has all these 
blocks as an added support. If you did use a complexity, you shouldn't use a complexity on the stage, but if you did, it would remove all those blocks. But yeah, just going for the four match of either Shiny Deontay or Hitmanlee or Buzzwall, as I said in previous stages, it's the same, it's the same stage basically, so yeah, not, you don't need a whole lot of advice just because we already had a couple of stages before this that was based, that were basically the same thing. So yeah, cool to have Dark Ride back as well because I don't remember the last time it was available. I think it was before I even began my channel on YouTube. So yeah, quite a quite a, a while ago, I guess. And I believe Dark Ride went up to 200 stages if I remember correctly in the past. So I guess this is new to only have it 100 stages if I remember correctly. I could be wrong about that, but I believe that is the case I believe that is the case but yeah we actually did better on this one than the previous two even though this one is technically stronger because he has a little bit more HP but yeah I guess it all depends if you're activating the three matches of these shot abilities you know so I don't know yeah but we do beat stage 98 and for this one we're going to get a skill swapper I believe yes we do get a skill swapper so I'll definitely take that skill swapper and okay, so now we're moving on to stage 99. And this one we're actually using some items. A plus 5 moves, a disruption delay, and an attack power. Yeah, this one was uh, tough. There's a lot of HP on this one. So yeah, I felt like, as I said, I took out the Sylvali for the Conkle there just because Typeless Combo not really going to activate a whole lot because there's added blocks on the field as a fifth support. So Really annoying, so I did add the Congo there, but as you can see, it's a little bit difficult to tell with the Hitmanlee. So Curlia, if you had it, would technically be better than Hitmanlee, just because it's a different color than, than Congo there. And so a little bit annoying on that end, but it still wasn't a bad stage with these items, I didn't feel like. Uh, I did use, I did end up using the Congo there on the stage, I believe. I want to say I did, but... You don't, but I, I would have beaten it regardless, I believe. So, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, you can, like the other stages, just try and set up four matches or whatnot if you have it. Hitmanlee not doing anything at the moment because it can't disrupt since I used a disruption delay. So, can't disrupt with some Dark Rye. So, yeah. I didn't consider that prior to using the disruption delay. You could do this without a disruption delay. And that might be better because you can get the Dark Rye on the field. But again, all those clouds are going to come and it's just super annoying. So I, I didn't want to do that. I just decided to throw the disruption delay onto it. And yeah, I was still able to beat the stage. But it does have quite a bit of HP. It's it's, it's quite a bit. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. So. so yeah. Okay, so now it's disrupting with the clouds. Beginning with the clouds. And then it's going to throw on some Dark Rye. And this is where you could use Hitmonlee, of course. And it's basically the same stage as the other stages, except there's a lot more HP. You're not going to be able to do this one itemless. You know, the other ones were like in the 20,000s. This one is over like 60,000 or something. So this is absolutely insane. There's a lot of HP. Yeah, I, I, I definitely needed the Conklet on this one. But that's all right. Yeah, click in the clouds again just to see what's going on behind them, as usual. So yeah, I mean, I guess you could use, like, Machamp or Meloetta if you don't have Buzzwell or something. I guess, but, you know, I think Buzzwell's better. I like Buzzwell a lot. But yeah, definitely needed the Conkleder on this one. So last four moves, but I, I would have beaten it without the, the Conkleder, but I did, you know, activate it on the last turn, so... Yeah, whatever, I'll take that. Stage 99. We beat that one with three moves left. So, yeah, what was that? Around 70,000 or 65,000 HP or so something like that. Something like that. Some something crazy like that. But for this one, we do get three level ups. So, again, I'll take the level ups. And now we are on the final boss stage, stage 100. And I actually would recommend Typeless Combo for this stage because we are going in with a complexity. 
you could probably do this one without a complexity. I don't I don't know. It's probably possible if you have like the shiny Deontay as Omega or something. You probably could get away with doing that, but whatever it is what it is, I went ahead and used a complexity. I have a lot of coin grinding to do. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this week and next week and probably the week after. <laughs> but um, either way, we are beginning this stage with Typeless Combo into Gallade, but it's not going to activate because it never activates when I need it to. I'm just kidding. Sometimes it does. But yeah, this one has a lot of HP. It's over 80,000. What is it? Like 88,000? Something like that. It's in the 80,000s, I believe. So quite a bit of HP on this one. But I still felt like it was manageable based on the moves you have and the po Pokemon you have available. I understand if you're earlier on or whatnot. It's going to be tough and you're probably not going to be able to do this stage. But, you know, if you, if you don't have some of these Pokemon or some other strong options, and I understand that, but... I, I'm just using some of the... I'm just showing you how to do it, basically, if you have these Pokemon. But, yeah. Typeless combo, again, not going off, so... Not really helping me out during this battle, but that is okay. That is okay. So, yeah. Pretty fun escalation, as I said. I basically used up all of my banked hearts on it and uh, the free 15 minutes or not. So, you know, I kind of rushed to get it done, but eh, that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind just because I just want to spend the rest of the time farming coins because this week was so expensive in terms of, you know, Pokemon Shuffle and what you had to use coins on. Okay, so now we get back into the clouds. So again, basically the same thing. On this stage, he could also destruct with Cresselia as well as Darkrai, like right there. So not too bad. You have more options for shout out. I would definitely take it. More clouds. But yeah, obviously like shout out and Buzzwall are doing more damage just because you have the attack power on this stage. Yeah, so by this point, I knew I was going to beat the stage, which is really cool. So, yeah, really awesome escalation. I really enjoyed it. Uh, let me know how far you guys are going to go. Are you going to complete it? Or are you just going to go as far as you can itemless? Let me know. And so, yeah, going to almost finish it off, but not just yet. Still not going to finish it off on that move. Still not going to finish it off, so I'm going to take a few extra turns, but that's okay. It's not like we have to S-rank this thing or whatnot, so we do beat it. Look at that HP, absolutely insane. And for this one, we do get three raise max levels, so I will definitely go ahead and take those because you can always use three raise max levels. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.